So Climate Defiance has been doing these awesome protests, interrupting the 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 ruling elite as they continue on their merry way, uh, making a planet that none of us will be able to live on in just a few years. And here they are interrupting the CEO of uh, Exxon Mobil, Darren Woods. And I, I love to see that these videos actually get some traction. This one has been seen by 4 million people, and it also destroyed the whole banquet that uh, the Exxon CEO was trying to speak at. So hope you hope you enjoy. Honorary CME member, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present the 2023 Darren Woods is <laughs> I also love for those of you listening to the podcast, they approach the guy was introducing Darren Woods, the CEO of ExxonMobil. They unfurl a banner that says eat shit, Darren. <laughs> and, and the guy looks over. The guy looks over and oh, it's just perfect. Is a climate criminal. How can scientists be honoring this man who increases production of oil and gas every year? I don't care what he does to his own emissions. As long as production goes up, Darren. We're fucked. We're fucked because of you. You make $20 million a year killing millions of people. You told us that it was our problem that we need to recycle and compost. Fuck that. No, we need to add fossil fuels now. Exxon lies and people die. Let's be real. Let's follow the fucking money. When the students here join us, this man is a sick fuck killing your future. This man kills Stop people for money. About and I want the freedom to be a human being without being fucking scared for my life, fucking scared for your lives. Why are we giving an award to this guy? It has been the CME STEM Awards. <laughs> You're welcome. Good night. We're leaving now and we're complying. We're leaving the building. Yeah, but that's it. He fucking disrupted the damn meeting. Exxon lies and people die. Exxon lies and people die. Exxon lies and people die. I love Exxon Mobil. It's the best. The best. I love Exxon <laughs> Oh, for those of you, for those of you listening to the podcast, they they cleared an entire room of these rich elite douchebags who were all sitting there to hear the CEO of ExxonMobil talk about how great ExxonMobil is. Uh, and the entire room, had, they were in the middle of dinner, the entire room had to leave because clearly they did not have the, uh, the security, the police enough to actually uh, drag these people out. And, it, it's it's amazing. This is what should be happening all over America, all over the world. Uh, don't let these people have their dinners. Don't let these people have their 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 just casual way going about their business. I'm not. Uh, I don't believe you should accost anyone. I mean, assault anyone. But if they can't handle you standing up with a sign, then good. I'm glad they can't. Uh, and. And, and, you know, I, I also appreciate someone who uses a lot of strong language. I also appreciate that these people, Climate Defiance is not afraid to use this language, which is beautiful because it's, it's, it's our fucking future. It's, it, it, this is like the, this is our ability for us and our kids and our grandkids to even have a planet and we're supposed to be polite. And I love they, I don't, I, I guess it was one of the, uh, one of the, one of the rich douchebags. Uh, you could hear him saying, you guys ruined the whole, disrupted the whole fucking meeting, like furious. And it's like, yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know what else disrupts a lot of meetings is climate crisis, is the, the increased disasters we see happening around the world. Floods, mudslides, fires, hurricanes of of unusual frequency and size. All of these things are destroying people's entire lives. And it's interrupting, it's even interrupting dinners. I don't know if you know that. It's interrupting nice dinners too. Uh, so it's just beautiful that these people continue to interrupt the ruling elite. Don't let them have their meetings. Don't let them have their dinners. Uh, just be in their face as much as you can because the, the, the voting barely matters anymore. It matters on some local issues. 
But federally, it is gone. It is government is captured. Congress is captured by the ruling elite, by these corporate douchebags. It is captured. They own it. Large studies have shown that nothing, zero, gets through Congress that does not align with corporate interests, meaning you will never get something through Congress that actually creates any change uh, on the climate issue. I'm not saying you won't have all these beautiful things that uh, Democrats, oh, they will put forward a thing that says climate bill. But if it actually creates change, it will not be going through Congress. It will not be allowed to exist. And even if it were to get through, there are powerful interests that would crush it the next year. So it, it, there, there, I, I am a big proponent in terms of activism of throwing everything at the wall that you can. Every, every, uh, Every tool you have, use it. And this is one of the tools, is interrupting these people uh, and, and, and having these viral videos, which, guess what? If these uh, six people or however many sat on a sidewalk and said the exact same thing, this video would not have been seen by 4 million people. It was seen by more than 4 million people because people care about a video that shows the CEO of ExxonMobil having his goddamn dinner ruined. That's what they care about. Uh, on the same topic, this is from The Guardian. Earth is now on the verge of five catastrophic catastrophic climate tipping points. And I don't know, you know, hopefully those of you who uh, continue to live in the fairy tale world where a climate crisis isn't real, uh, ho hopefully most of you have already turned off my show. I think most of you generally do. But for those of you hanging in there, uh, want to say climate crisis isn't real. I'll just remind you real quick. 99.7% of peer-reviewed scientific articles or studies say that it is. 99.7. I think that's more than gravity. 99.7% of peer-reviewed scientific studies say it's happening now. And, and like... Yeah, you can you can put forward your little guy that you believe. Oh, this guy, look, this guy, he wrote on a chalkboard. Someone sent me one of those recently. Lee got a list of this guy, and it's a dude. He's standing about 12 people, and he's drawing on a whiteboard, and he says climate crisis isn't happening. And it's like, you can show me all those videos in the world. 99.7% peer-reviewed scientific articles. I'm sorry. You're, you're, a, you're worse than a flat earther, folks. All right, Earth on the vo verge of five catastrophic climate tipping points. Many of the gravest threats to humanity are drawing closer as carbon pollution heats the planet to ever more dangerous levels. Five important natural thresholds already risk being crossed, according to the Global Tipping Points Report. Uh, three more may be reached in the 2030s if the world heats up to 1.5 Celsius, which is 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Triggering these planetary shifts will not cause temperatures to spiral out of control in the coming centuries, but will unleash dangerous and sweeping damage to people and nature that cannot be undone. Tipping points, and this is a quote from the uh, University of Exeter's Global Systems Institute, quote, tipping points in the Earth system pose threats of a magnitude never faced by humanity. They can trigger devastating domino effects, including the loss of whole ecosystems and capacity to grow staple crops with societal impacts, including mass displacement, political instability, and financial collapse. The tipping points at risk include the collapse of big ice sheets in Greenland and the West Antarctic. And as I brought you the other day, uh, the one of the largest icebergs ever to break off uh, is now floating freely around the world. It is the size of Oahu, uh, the island. Um, uh, let's see. The widespread thawing of permafrost, which they say can be is a major tipping point, which is happening right now in Siberia because uh, it releases massive amounts of methane, which is far more dangerous, uh, a greenhouse gas, than CO2. The... Uh, the death of the coral reefs in warm waters, which we're seeing steadily, and the collapse of one oceanic current in the North Atlantic. So these are all tipping points that then have spiral effects afterwards, and we're facing these tipping points right now. 